<laughs> Hello, Jennifer Tucci here. Wearing my shirt. <laughs> Wear this to Valentine's Day party. Not too, too keen on Valentine's Day. Well, probably is it because I'm single. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, um, uh, also because I had to mm, be festive and merry. <laughs> so I wore this to it. <laughs> that was exciting because I got this yesterday in my unboxing. Yeah, so I was happy. Me happy. <laughs> But today I'm going to do a um a sci-fi movie review. Yes. It's going to be on another movie that may, was made the year I was born. I believe the month I, after I was born. 1976. Whoa, what? <laughs> don't, don't figure that out how old I am now. Okay. And that, it's made by Warner Brothers. <clears throat> Starring Michael York, Jenna Aguter, Richard Jordan, Ross Gow Lee Brown Ferret Fossa Fawcett Majors and Peter Ustinov. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? It's directed by Michael Anderson. I'll make that face every time I say that name. Because Michael Anderson is one of my one of my ex boyfriends from high school. It's not the one who directed this, though, because that'd be an amazing age difference. <laughs> but it's Logan's Run, and I love that cover. Yes. Beautiful cover. Beautiful cover. Yes. It's kind of... Uh, this movie kind of reminds me a wee bit of... Got a little Soylent Green stuck in here. Soylent Green is people! You know me. You know how much I love that movie. <laughs> I love saying that. <clears throat> yes. Um. Yes, they live in a very utopian society on Earth under dome. Which have been set in there long ago because of um naughty naughty humans for um humans forsake the ravaged outer environment yes by live living in a vast bubble metamorphosis. <laughs> Yes, because according to this movie, humans <laughs> have overpopulated the earth. We have um, ruined the environment. No, really? They were telling us this back in the 70s? <laughs> Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And um you know, they live in absolute peace here. Except for one thing, yes. Um that when anyone who turns thirty must submit to carousel. Not caris L. Carousel, yes. A soaring, spinning trip to eternity and supposed rebirth. Yes. They're told that they're going to 
once they're killed in this carousel, which is a rather silly looking thing. People around in a corner, <laughs> I mean, in a, in like, like a stadium, yeah. They go around in a corner and do a certain weird dance thing. And then they start to be brought into the air and be hit by lasers. And everybody around them is yelling out, Renew! Renew! Because they know that they're going to be renewed, yes. Okay. <laughs> And they all have on their hands a white jewel. And when they're 30, it turns red and starts flashing. And then in some point in the movie, it turns black. Yes. And yes. <clears throat> yes, and Michael York plays... Um, <clears throat> Logan 5. There's already a Logan 6 in the nursery. Now, when I saw that, I said, how can there be a Logan 5? And Logan 6 has already been renewed, but that's me Spock thinking. I should turn off my Spock when I'm watching movies. <laughs> yes. Um, and Jenna Akuter <laughs> um, plays a woman who doesn't think of Renew that nicely. <laughs> and has a little symbol on a necklace. Oof. What do they call it? Damn it. I... Some weird name for it. This book. Aunt... I... I watched this last night. <laughs> and then I went to see the movies. And not a good movie. I mean, not a good idea to watch the movie after this one. Okay. Um. Yes, but they're like, they're all like, living in a human utopia, you know, until they're 30. Like, Jenna, Jenny, Jenny's character has put herself on a list to lose her virginity. And all of a sudden, like Star Trek, is put into Michael York's room. Michael York is a Sandman, which is like it's a police kind of. Yes, and his friend is also a Sandman, played by Richard Jordan. Now, Richard Jordan's hot. Michael York. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, and thank goodness men in the future wear tight pants. Yes. This is supposed to happen in 2274. So I won't be around then. Um, yeah. I don't know why movies around this time. It's like, doom, gloom, doom, gloom, doom, gloom. But I do kind of like the story right now. Logan's told to go outside of Utopia, which is outside of the domes. Yes. And uh, kill off the people who are who are running. Yes. And it's like and his hand is turned red and beep, 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 you know. And so he must find out where these people are. 
But he had, he says he had four years before it turned red. But I'm sorry. He looks over 30, which is a problem. <laughs> but maybe I'm just ages. My favorite character in this is, oddly enough, a robot. <laughs> His name is Box. <laughs> Box, yes. When they come out of the, of the, of the, of the, 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 of the, the vast bubbled metropolis, they are led to some ice, and out comes Bot. He's a big robot. Yes. Box. Yes, he's a big robot, and we get a surprise from him. Yes, yes. And oddly enough, I find out through this movie that girls in this time do not wear bras. Mm. This makes me not want to live in this utopia if I can't wear a bra. But I do love those, this, um, the, the laser work in this. I loved hearing about it because this, this DVD is amazing how much stuff they, they have in it. They have a feature length auto commentary by Michael York, director Michael Anderson. Yeah. <laughs> And costume designer Bill Thomas. Behind the scenes documentary. A look into the 23rd century. Soundtrack remastered in Dolby Digital. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it also has a theatrical trailer and subtitles. Yep. Damn good. Damn good. Damn good. I love this cover. It even shows box a different a different color than he's supposed to be. But it's a beautiful box, yes. And this was one piece of art I found very interesting. Inside the domes. Yes. So I think this is a good movie. I think it's very good. And of course Farrah Fawcett Majors had to be in there. And, <clears throat> yes, because she was, like, one of the sexy, sexy girls at the time. Yes. Oh, see, this is Carousel right there. Yeah. Yes. And she had, there was not a lot of her. But... <clears throat> Let me give this a 4.5. Yeah. Out of 5. Because I did like it. I loved that robot. I liked the chase. And I liked the ending. Yes. I want to find out. How many movies have so much. Dreadful things in them. That. Like Soylent Green and Logan's Run. <laughs> renew! Renew! <laughs> Farewell. <laughs>